Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Douche. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Donald J. Trump. You know, up here very important. He's not exactly known for being pro-Muslim. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. And with Ramadan coming up, he's retweeted something along the lines of let's see if authorities enforce the social distancing orders for mosque during ramadan like they did churches during easter Wonder okay let's let hazrat uh, trump <laughs> start his uh, khutbah of islamophobia during easter Wondering yeah, no, i would like to see that and uh, you know i just spoke with uh, leaders uh, uh, and people that love mosques they love mosques and i'm all in favor of that but I would say that there could be a difference and we'll have to see what will happen because I've seen a great disparity in this country. I've seen a great disparity. I mean, I've seen a very strong anti-Israel bent in Congress with Democrats. It, it was unthinkable seven or eight or 10 years ago. And now uh, they're into a whole different thing between Omar and uh, AOC. I say AOC plus three, add them on. You have I mean, the things that they say about Israel are so bad, and I, I can't believe it. The king, the king waffler, the master of the wafflers. I think he deserves this title, mate. Yeah, because the amount of waffling I heard in his answer was next to none, frankly. You know, I just spoke with uh, leaders uh, uh, and people that love mosques. They love mosques. People who love mosques. What a unique way to describe Muslims. I can imagine him on the conversation. Hey, uh, Muslim, do you, do you love mosques? Uh, I really like mosques. No, I'm sorry. I need somebody who really loves mosques, okay? But I would say that there could be a difference and we'll have to see what will happen because I've seen a great disparity in this country. I've seen a great disparity. Okay, so it's a fair point, yeah? Just like something has been enforced on Christians, you gotta, you know, have a blanket rule for people of all faiths. And that's fine. But naturally, because of widespread Islamophobia and a rise in right-wing extremism and violence, naturally he needs to choose his words diplomatically so he doesn't contribute to the tensions that are already there because they go after christian churches but they don't tend to go after mosques he's being asked about his tweet he starts cussing his uh, opponents he starts talking about anti-semitism and two other congress members i mean i've seen a very strong anti-israel bent in congress with democrats between omar and uh AOC. I mean, this guy can't seem to give a straight answer. Imagine if he's at McDonald's. Hello there, sir. What would you like to order for today? Yes, uh, Ilhan and AOC are anti-Semitic and my opposition uh, smell of a cab driver feet. Okay, sir. Would you like to have fries with that? I had a chat with people who like fries and they're tremendous people and i also had a chat with people who like burgers they are also tremendous people okay uh, okay sir your order is gonna take a, a longer time because we have to decipher what what you actually mean so come back in a week's time sir because they go after christian churches but they don't tend to go after mosques and I don't want him to go after mosques. Hang on a minute, doesn't that just invalidate your entire argument? Do you want them to go after mosques or don't you? Make up your mind. Imagine having a football coach. Hey Ronaldo, why don't you go after the ball? Okay coach, I'll go after the ball. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I don't want you to go after the ball. Okay. Thanks, coach. So, Mr. President, that in fact, Go ahead, that please. suggesting that imams wouldn't follow social no, distancing. Right. Okay, fair question. Do you think imams will follow it or not? Yeah, I can't see a third option other than, yeah, they will or no, they won't. So we need to have more things in place. I think that uh, I just had a call with imams. I just had a call with uh, ministers, rabbis. We had a tremendous call with the faith leaders. No, I don't think that at all. I am uh, somebody that believes in faith. Oh man, I didn't know there was a third option. No wonder you're the president 
and I'm the humble civil servant. So do you think Billy kicked the dog? I was on the phone to Billy, uh, to Billy's friends. We had a tremendous chat and uh, yeah, okay, bye. But our politicians seem to treat different faiths very differently. Yeah, politicians do treat faiths differently, i.e. you, mate. I think Islam hates us. I don't see you banning any other religious uh, minorities from entering your country. In fact, according to your own words, you've done more for evangelical Christians than anyone else. I, I don't know what happened with our country, but uh, the Christian faith is treated much differently than it was, and I think it's treated very unfairly. Whoa, hang on a minute, you can't just make a claim and then move on to the next question. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think you're a bad parent. What? What makes you say that? Okay, next question. What do you mean next question? There's, there, there's no one here. There you go, guys. Even in UK media, they're trying to raise fear that Muslims are somehow going to do silly things in Ramadan. But I'm sure you guys know we've got a social distance. You know what I'm saying? Your Jummas, your Taraweeh, everything needs to be prayed at home. Do not pray in your local masjid. I think enough people of authority and um, senior scholars have made this explicitly clear. We don't need POTUS to tell us. I'm sure of being sensible anyway. I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing every other day, I'm seeing some sort of conference happening online, some sort of advice being given, videos being uploaded, mashallah. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there until next time. Mm. Assalamu alaikum.